is Toastmaster Kathy Lakadoo. Today, Kathy is working on her path called Strategic Relationships Level 3, and that with storytelling. Believe it or not, Kathy is a very shy person. <laughs> Despite being shy, she does like meeting new people. She's learned to look at them in a certain way. You will learn that in her story entitled, Advice from an Unlikely Source. Please join me in welcoming to the lecture, Toastmaster Kathy Lakedew. Happy New Year, everyone. Happy New Year. <laughs> okay. Now, have any of you ever made a New Year's resolution that you would look for a spouse or a new friend? Oh, yeah. Maybe? Okay. What is the criteria you look for in them? Toastmaster Regina. Responsibility. Responsibility. What about you, Toastmaster Herman? Loyalty. Loyalty. Okay, wonderful. <laughs> well, I what I've learned... I <laughs> what I've learned is in high school I learned what to look for. Now to give you a background, my high school was a very small school. There was, it was a Catholic high school, only 800 students, all girls, and it was predominantly Italian. Now one day we, in my senior year, we had a mandatory religion class we had to take. It focused on ethics. This class was um, done by a nun, but today was different. We had a special topic. It was on marriage. And we had a guest speaker, a pundit. We were so excited, not because of the speaker, but because she was so boring. We wanted somebody new. Anyway, in walks in, a six-foot-tall man, dark-haired, pointy nose with glasses, and he was this big. And he walked in, and he introduced himself as Father Bellantonio. <laughs> now, Father Bellantonio said many things that day, but I remembered this story so well. He leaned on the lectern, and he was like, ladies, one day, I was asked to do a wedding for a couple I don't know. And I was standing at the altar with the groom. Now picture this. He was handsome, tall, blonde-haired, blue eyes. I was like, hmm, I wonder what his bride looks like. Well, I was wondering the same thing. I thought she was probably one of these cute little blondes, you know. But anyway, he continues. Here she comes down the aisle. She has her veil on. And when she took off the veil, he said, ladies, I had to contain myself. He said, talk about Bride of Frankenstein. <laughs> For those who don't understand, that was his version of saying she was ugly. <laughs> And we're like, oh. I'm thinking, oh no, he didn't say that. But then he continued. He said, ladies, I looked at her. I looked at him. I looked at her. I looked at him. And then I'm thinking, this man could have any woman in the world. Why her? He thought, I could only come up with that she must have a good heart. And so it was his way of encouraging us that to have a good heart and to also look for a good heart in the person we would like to marry. Now, fast forward, 10 years ago, I saw his words come true. One day I was with a friend, she happens to be Haitian, and she was talking to me about a friend she wanted me to meet. She's also Haitian. She was like, Katsi, I have to prepare you. 
I don't know how to say this. Mais lui semblait comme monstre, même lui belle, which means she looks like a monster, but she's pretty, but she's nice. I'm thinking, how can she say this about her friend? Well, anyway, she calls her friend and she has her talk to me. And this lady was so nice over the phone, and she even invited me to her wedding shower, which was taking place that weekend. I accepted the invitation. I went. The wedding shower was taking place in a church hall. And when I got there, I saw people of all, ladies of all ages, from infants to the elderly. And there was, it was a little diverse group, but predominantly Caucasian. Now someone introduced me to her, and when I saw this lady, I was thinking, oh my God, Bride of Frankenstein looks much better than her. <laughs> and, <laughs> yes, and when she, when I sat and she shared me her story, she told me how her and four other family members were caught in a house fire. She got burned over 95% of her body. Her face was so deformed. She didn't have use of her right arm. And that she was in constant pain. And I observed her too and the people around her. The kids would run up to her and come and hug her. They were not afraid of her. And I'm thinking, she's mostly in pain, but yet she doesn't push them away. She accepts them. And the more I was with this lady, the only thing I saw was beauty. I didn't see a monster. And now, the next week was her wedding. And I saw her husband. He was 15 years older than her, and he was Caucasian. But on the altar, I could clearly see how much this man loved her. And I saw, wow, Father Bellantonio was right. Now another wise person, who happens to be my husband, <laughs> says that sometimes you can't control what you look like on the outside, but you can control what comes out of you. So I encourage all of you this year, when you're looking for somebody new, to focus on the heart.